anybody that's interested, I bought a log forwarding trailer for small tractor, ATV type thing. It holds 1,500 kilograms, which is a little over 3,000 pounds. And it comes in a box that looks like this. Let me turn this around and uh, you'll be able to see what. So this is about a four by eight crate. It weighs 1,200 pounds. And it was all that my little John Deere tractor could do to lift it off the, um, off the truck when it came. So I to put forks on and wouldn't lift it very high, obviously, because I didn't want it to flip me over. But it comes with everything I needed. It comes with a small, looks like about a, a five horsepower electric start motor. Uh, comes with all the wheels and rams and the hydraulic pump and tank, log dogs, log bunks, hydraulic winch, four wheel drive. It's got a, uh, a small hydraulic motor on each wheel, and these cogs right here will go between the tires. So I think we should assemble this today before it gets too, too hot and see how it works. See if it's something that uh, I'll be able to use in the woods behind my little tractor. Anyway, I'm pretty thrilled with, uh, with it. Uh, should be one of the last pieces of the puzzle of my microforester business. I have this fellow, and I also have a. I'd like to get a bigger ATV to pull it, you know, maybe a Can Am 1000 6x6, but I've got to start letting some uh, this business start to pay for that as well. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's get at the installation. Here's the first big piece. Uh, this is the hydraulic drive and the four-wheel drive system. You can see the cogs assembled on this side. Looks like it's going to be all right. These are the ubiquitous trailers that everybody sells the same one. I think they're made in the same plant in China. They're um, not exactly sure what the company is that makes them, but they're sold under uh, Iron Baltic, which is the name of the company that this one is. North Horse Pro, Range Road. Uh, there's a couple of Scandinavian com uh, companies that sell this exact same trailer made by the same people in the same plant and put their name on it and uh, it's going to be a good addition to my wood lot and the, the tools in my arsenal to haul wood so we're going to get to assembled try to get it assembled today and uh, looks like it was assembled at one point I can see that there's I got a smoking deal online about uh, $3,000 less probably than what it would have cost if I were to my equivalent one close to home so I kind of jumped on it I don't know if it was a special deal or a leftover or maybe I'm gonna find something wrong but anyway let's get at it sorry about the poor quality sound and lighting this is a telephone an iPhone video and an old iPhone at that so patience please but all right here's step one got the wheels on I had to take one of the uh, uh, lift one of these drive motors up um, there is obviously left and right wheels, so you have to make sure when you assemble this that you get the left on the left and the right on the right. Now I have to make the spine to it, and it's pretty obvious how this works. We have this fellow right here, which is a big plate, which will clamp the spine depending on where I want to put it. The only other option that, maybe there's two options that this uh, little trailer doesn't have that I think you can get them. Uh, one is an extendable, I'm not sure if that's the right word, it moves this whole carriage back and forth along the spine so that you can center your load. If you're carrying 8-foot stuff, you can bring it to uh, the center of the 8-foot log. And if you've got 12 or 16-foot logs, you can move that whole wheel business hydraulically back the spine to center the load. So it takes a lot of tongue weight off your tractor or ATV. And I don't have that. And apparently there's also, I've seen videos of uh, a tongue that, that hinges side to side so that you can steer around trees and whatnot in the woods so it might be a, a nice little option as well but we're gonna run with this and I bet it'll be just fine so I had to move the big pieces a little closer I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna stand all this up by myself I gotta find the hardware so when I do get this uh, small part of the crane right here I guess the supporting part of the crane stood up that I know exactly uh, that I can leave it stood up. I guess I'm sort of thinking it loud here, but anyway, it's it's coming together. The trailer itself wasn't a big issue. It was a little bit of a bear to push the hoses up through the center of the frame. I thought that this would be more adjustable back and forth, but it isn't. It's it's kind of committed to a hole that's in the bottom of the frame, which I thought was going to be in the top. Um, so I got to lock that in place there, and then I guess I can move my bunks 
to where I think would be the best to make the most sense with uh, for eight foot or 12 foot lumber, whatever I'm hauling. Move this whole carriage back that holds the uh, stabilizers as well, because I really want to put the motor, if it's possible, I can put that whole engine business up on the tongue and that way I can uh, use it with my ATV, use it with my tractor and not have to connect into the hydraulics of the tractor. Not that that would be a big deal, but if I use it with my ATV, then I don't have to worry about mounting um, hoses or uh, running hose up over the frame. It's a small ATV, but I can see a bigger ATV in the future at some point, I'm sure. So anyway, pitter patter. Well, I got the main boom on with a little bit of grunting and groaning. I had to pull the valves over and the rest of the rams, but I think it'll be okay. There's still a big mess of stuff here, but it's in seems to be in manageable size pieces, even if I can use the forks of my forklift to get things aligned. I think I'll be okay with that. Um, it's pretty nice. It's uh, quality's pretty decent. I'm surprised. China has come a long ways in what they're building. I've got a couple of Chinese pieces of equipment, and I was dead set against it for a long, long time. I, I don't know why, but anyway, their quality has come full circle. I got a firewood processor and some uh, another trailer like this that I've actually just sold to help finance this. So at any rate, I'm going to keep on plugging away and get her together. It's just some, to bolt that in place. A deep or an impact socket wouldn't fit in the frame so I had to find a, a chrome 24 millimeter socket to reach up in the frame to tighten these bolts down. So anyway, now that I have that I can move forward. So there's the grapple and the boom. I just got to figure a way to make that, so I think what I'm going to do is spin it around if I can, if the hoses will reach, and uh, lift up this end with the forklift just to get the pins aligned. I don't think it's going to be as easy as it sounds, so I might not film that part just in case things go sour, and anyway, it, it might not be as, as fun as I think it should be, so stand by. If everything goes well, you'll hear from me. If, if nothing goes well, then I may not even post this video. Just kidding. I'll post it anyway. That didn't take any work at all. I'm shocked. You guys probably didn't think I was going to be back to show you this, but I got the one pin in, and that was uh, probably going to be the hardest one. I had to lift this boom up. I lifted this end up on myself, and the other end, as you can see, I put it on my hoist. I've got a couple of two-foot hoists in my garage at home, and that's heavy all in one unit. I was going to have to take it all apart, but I guess the next would be to extend that ram so I can get this pin in, but as far as I'm concerned, everything's going tickety-boo. So let me keep on working on it. I'm going to get some grease on those threads before I put a, a lock on it. Just It's kind of a nuisance to try to take this apart in six months from now or whatever, and it's not uh, not happy. So anyway, a little rust will be, will be the worst case scenario, I guess. But I can't imagine me not using it enough to let it get rusty. Um, the other trailer I've used a lot, and... I've taken it apart a couple of times to make it better, and I suspect this will be exactly the same way. So, At any rate, that's all I have to say about that. I'll talk to you in a minute. So if you've been watching this far, you're so, as excited probably as I am. Maybe not quite as much to see this thing run, but now would be a great time to subscribe and, uh, and like. You press that like button. It helps the channel grow. Not that I'm trying to be a tremendous YouTube star or anything, but it, it's working. There's been some traffic to uh, to my Facebook channel because of this uh, YouTube channel, or my Facebook page, I should say, and there's been some traffic to my emails, of course, and I've sold lumber and firewood, and uh, it's really helping my business a lot. So now would be a great time to subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks. Stay tuned for more. I'm just wrapping up the assembly of this little hydraulic forwarding trailer. It's four-wheel drive. It's got a 31-inch grapple. Not sure what the lift capacity is. I bet it's, uh, I think I saw somewhere around 800 pounds at full reach. Um, it's the ubiquitous Chinese model that everybody sells, but I'm going to be very happy with it. I think the quality's pretty good. Had it running, got all the hydraulics bled. I did make a bit of a video for my YouTube channel. I'm just trying to figure out how to mount the motor in front of that uh, little headache rack so that I don't have to put it on a uh, bracket on my tractor. And my ATV is much too small to carry this little thing around. So anyway, look forward to a video coming up in the next few days. That's all I have to say about that. Over and out. So it's all done. It works like a clock. I'm thrilled with how well it works, how much power it has. It's uh, four-wheel drive works good. I've retorqued all the bolts and greased what needed to be greased. 
and made it a bit more permanent perhaps than this motor, which, uh, let me get into my own shadows here. This motor's on a quick connect with these lunchbox type clips. And it's meant to go in the front rack of an ATV. But if I move this headboard back about three inches, there was room for it. I had to weld a few little brackets on. You see right here, I had to weld that onto the frame and then clamp the frame around it so I can take it off easy just with one bolt. Um, and the other key component of this is this fellow, which is the remote control for the four wheel drive and uh, the wired remote. There's also a wireless remote for the winch. So it's a uh, two wheel drive, four wheel drive that drops those big fingery gold colored cogs down between the wheels and it'll push the tractor just fine. No problem at all. This tractor with the loader weighs about 2,500 pounds. And just that alone with, I think I had about, uh, I don't know, a dozen six or eight inch birch trees on it, about eight or 10 feet long, just to uh, know how inept I am at using it. It's a big, steep learning curve, that's for sure. But I'm happy with it. It's got tons and tons of power, more power than I thought it was gonna have. I was able to pick up this big, ugly 16 foot pine tree, which is about 14 inches. This one right here, it's about 14 inches at the big end, uh, 16 feet long, I was able to pick it up. I picked one end of it up and then slid it over, but I wouldn't carry it around anywhere. And also I loaded some, some hardwood for my processor and put in the processor. So the whole idea behind this isn't so much to make the mill use user friendly. Certainly I can use it for that. It's to get logs from my wood lot out to the road and then load my trailer with it. Logs and uh, firewood poles. So if it's any bigger than this, then I'll have to hire the big guys, but at least I can get it somewhere. I have a grapple, of course, as you know, on the front of the tractor, which loads the processor. But uh, I'm happy. Anyway, I'll get a video shortly, perhaps, of this in operation, because it is pretty impressive. Anybody that's not seen one of these, I and mean, there's tons of videos online, but anybody that hasn't seen one of these in action, it uh, it's impressive. They do a lot of work. I'm surprised, quite surprised. I did think about putting a pair of quick connects on these two lines, this fellow and this fellow down here. I don't know if I'm looking at what you want. Yeah, you can see what I'm pointing at. And then that connects into my Power Beyond. But this way, it works out okay. I can use it with my tractor, use the tractor, use the hydraulic winch that I already have in my tractor if I need to use it. This has a hydraulic winch on it as well. So six and one, half a dozen the other. But, but the important part is now I can use it with my ATV. I can uh, tow it around with my ATV. My ATV is too small for it, but with the four-wheel drive and if it's level ground around the yard here, I won't have any problem moving it around. A lot of tongue weight though, probably 300 pounds or so. Well, it's more than that. Maybe 500 pounds of tongue weight. I think the tractor's um, limit, I think I read in the book, is 1,370 uh, pounds on the three-point hitch for, uh, for downforce. Uh, at a continuous weight so by the time I get logs on that that'll be a, enough enough weight on that so probably shouldn't be hauling this anyway on the three-point hitch I should put a ball and tow it actually on the uh, on the frame of the tractor but anyway we'll see how that goes I think the idea behind that is there's just too much downforce pushing all the time on these arms right here so that's hard on the on the internals of that three-point hitch and uh, I'm well aware of that fact so before you comment you can comment if you want it suits me fine I know what uh, I know what that's all about so anyway thanks for watching this uh, assembly I know it's not a full-on time-lapse video of the assembly I just I get caught up in the, in the doing the job I guess and not so much into videoing so I'll get this off now and get my firewood processor loaded for the day I'm happy with the way it's worked out thanks again over and out.